Ever wondered how diverse the world of sports can be? Today, we're going to take you on a global journey, showcasing a side of athletic competition that often remains hidden in the shadows of the mainstream. From the highest peaks to the deepest seas, from the bustling cities to the quiet countryside, sports have woven themselves into the very fabric of cultures worldwide. However, beyond the well-known realms of football, basketball, and athletics, lies a world of unusual, lesser-known sports. These unconventional games are not just quirky pastimes, they are as competitive, captivating, and thrilling as their mainstream counterparts. Our aim? To educate, entertain, and perhaps even inspire you with these extraordinary displays of human skill and creativity. So fasten your seatbelts and open your minds. Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the world of unconventional sports. You might just find your new favorite. Imagine a sport that combines volleyball, soccer, and gymnastics on a bouncy inflatable court. Welcome to Bossaball. Hailing from the sun-drenched shores of Spain, Bossaball is a relatively new entrant in the world of sports. Invented in the early 2000s by Philip Eichmanns, an entrepreneur and former professional tennis player, the game is a unique blend of popular sports and musical influences. The name itself, Bossaball, is derived from bossa, a type of samba-infused music, reflecting the sport's rhythmic heart. Bossaball is played on an inflatable court featuring a circular trampoline on each side of a net. Teams consist of three to five players, with one player, the attacker, positioned on the trampoline. The goal is to get the ball over the net using any body part, your hands, feet, head, or even your shoulders. You can touch the ball up to five times before sending it back to the opponent's field, and it can bounce once on the inflatable part of the court. The real magic of bossa ball, however, lies in its fusion of sports. Players must demonstrate the agility of gymnasts, the precision of volleyball players, and the ball control of soccer players, all while keeping their balance on an unstable inflatable surface. It's a sport that pushes the boundaries of athleticism and creativity, but it's more than just a test of physical prowess. Bossa ball is a spectacle, a feast for the eyes as well as a challenge for the athletes. It's a sport that encourages flair, with extra points awarded for spectacular plays, a powerful spike while performing a backflip, a graceful save with an acrobatic twist. These are the moments that make bossa ball a crowd pleaser. The appeal of bossa ball lies in its accessibility and versatility. Whether you're a seasoned athlete looking for a new challenge, or a group of friends seeking a fun and energetic way to spend an afternoon, bossa ball offers an exciting and unique experience. Bossa ball, a sport that truly tests agility, coordination, and team spirit. Ever thought of playing volleyball without using your hands? Meet Sipak Takra. Originating from Southeast Asia, Sipak Takra is a sport that's been kicking around for centuries. Its name literally translates to kickball in Malay, and that's precisely what you do in this exhilarating game. But don't be fooled by its simplicity. Sipak Takra is a game of intense strategy, acrobatic agility, and pinpoint precision. Picture this, a game of volleyball, but instead of using your hands, you are using your feet, your head, your chest, your knees, anything but your hands. The ball is made of rattan or synthetic material, smaller and heavier than a volleyball, making the game even more challenging. The origins of Sepak Takra are steeped in history, dating back to the 15th century. It started as a simple game played by the common people and slowly evolved into a competitive sport with standardized rules. Today, it's a beloved sport in Southeast Asia, with competitions held at various levels, from local community matches to the Asian games. The court is similar to a doubles badminton court, and the game begins with a serve from within a small square area. The objective? To send the ball sailing over the net and into the opponent's court using any part of the body except the hands or arms. The team that can do this while preventing the ball from touching the ground on their side wins the point. But what truly sets Sipak Takra apart is the level of acrobatic skill required. Players often perform incredible flips and spins in mid-air to kick the ball, making it a spectacular sport to watch. The precision and timing involved are crucial, as a single misstep can send the ball crashing to the ground or flying out of the court. Sipak Takra is not just a sport, it's a display of athletic prowess, a test of coordination and agility, and a thrilling spectacle of acrobatics. It's a game that captivates audiences with its fast-paced action and leaves players with an adrenaline rush and the satisfaction of a game well played. Sipak Takra, a sport that takes volleyball to new heights literally. How about a game of hockey underwater? 
Yes, you heard it right. Let's plunge into the fascinating world of underwater hockey, a sport that redefines the conventional norms of gaming. Underwater hockey was born in the United Kingdom during the mid-20th century, a brainchild of British divers looking for a way to stay fit during the winter months. It's also known by the name Octopush in its country of origin. Today, it has made a splash in over 20 countries with international competitions held every two years. The game is as intriguing as its name suggests. Two teams, each with up to 10 players, compete in a swimming pool, aiming to maneuver a puck into the opponent's goal. However, the catch is that the puck, the players, and all the action are submerged underwater, adding a whole new dimension to the sport. The rules of underwater hockey are simple yet challenging. The puck is heavy enough to sink to the bottom of the pool and players use short handheld sticks to push it towards the goal. There are no goalkeepers and the whole team defends and attacks. Players need to resurface for air, making breath control as crucial as puck control. Underwater hockey demands a unique blend of skills. It's not just about physical strength or speed, but also about endurance, teamwork, and strategic planning. Players need to coordinate their movements, plan their dives, and communicate effectively, all while managing their breath underwater. The sport also upholds a high standard of fair play. There are no aggressive tackles, and physical contact is minimal. Instead, the game emphasizes agility, precision, and a deep understanding of the game's dynamics. Underwater hockey is a testament to the human spirit's adaptability, transforming a familiar game into a thrilling underwater adventure. It's a sport that challenges you to push your limits, to work in harmony with your team, and to strategize on the fly. So next time you're looking for a sport that's out of the ordinary, why not dive into the world of underwater hockey? It's a submerged challenge that's sure to make waves. Underwater hockey where breath control is as important as ball control. What if the prize for a downhill race was a wheel of cheese? In Gloucester, England, it's a reality. Welcome to the world of cheese rolling, a tradition that has been a part of the local community for possibly hundreds of years. It's a sport that's as peculiar as it sounds. A wheel of double Gloucester cheese is rolled down a steep hill and participants race after it with the winner being the first one to cross the finish line at the bottom. The origins of cheese rolling are shrouded in mystery. Some believe it has ties to pagan rituals for fertility, while others think it was a way for locals to protect their grazing rights. Regardless of its beginnings, cheese rolling has persisted and is now an annual event that draws in spectators and participants from around the globe. The rules of the race are simple but challenging. The cheese is given a one-second head start, and then it's every man, woman, and child for themselves. The hill, known as Cooper's Hill, is incredibly steep and uneven, making the race a dangerous endeavor. Broken bones and sprained ankles are a common sight, and yet, the thrill of the chase and the desire for the coveted cheese wheel keep participants coming back year after year. But it's not just about the danger and the thrill. There's an element of hilarity that comes with watching people tumble down a hill after a wheel of cheese. The spectacle is a part of the charm, and it's what makes cheese rolling a beloved tradition in Gloucester and beyond. What truly sets cheese rolling apart, though, is its cultural significance. It's a testament to the power of community and tradition, a nod to the region's agricultural roots, and a unique celebration of local produce. For the people of Gloucester, cheese rolling is more than just a race. It's a symbol of their identity and a source of pride. Cheese rolling, possibly the tastiest and most dangerous sport you've never heard of. As we've seen, the world of sports is as diverse as it is exciting. From the rhythmic leaps of bossa ball, a thrilling blend of volleyball, soccer and gymnastics, to the agile kicks of Sipak Takro, a volleyball variant that elevates the game to new heights, sports bring out the best of human creativity and physical prowess. We've dived deep into the underwater hockey, where breath control is as crucial as the game strategy, and rolled down a hill chasing a cheese wheel in the quirky yet endearing tradition of cheese rolling. Each of these sports, though lesser known, carries a unique cultural significance and exemplifies the spirit of the communities they hail from. They remind us to appreciate the unconventional, to explore the unexplored, and to understand that sports are not just about winning, but about expressing, connecting, and having fun. Remember, no matter how unusual, every sport has its own charm and thrill. Until next time, keep exploring and stay sporty.